is this is a storage unit. I do have this thing. This is a gaming keyboard, and this is what I'm going to use. Remember, remember those times when uh, keyboard came with a user guide? Yeah, me neither. As I said, this must be the crappiest quality you'll ever see in your life on a photographer's channel. However, this thing is the machine I'm trying to work with. As you see, it's Intel Pentium 4 and Windows XP. It's original. It's an original Windows XP with license. And this is my setup. This is what I'm trying to use. Hopefully it will work. I don't know how much megabytes of RAM this thing has. I'm thinking it's either 256 or 512 megabytes of RAM. And either how I have this 256 megabytes of RAM extra just in case I need it. As I said, I know this may be the crappiest video you've ever seen in your life, but I'm just thankful my phone has a front-facing ultra-wide camera and I can do this shit. And I won't try to yell since I can't really yell, but what I'm trying to do is put this thing this is this is heavy man this is very heavy and i'll just put it there on my two monitor setup yeah it's 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 a setup trust me it's it will get better as the video progresses trust me this, this is old too like this is pretty much old tech it's a sony tft panel i don't know if it's full hd i i think it's only hd but it's the unusual aspect ratio and it has a speaker in it and I guess it's color calibrated I'm not so sure but as you can see it's glossy it's not anti-glare or anything it's a old monitor now let's see if this thing can fit there on my desk since it's pretty pretty slim it's a pretty narrow space so let's get this thing out of here It's like a glove. This is the space I'm working with, like a, a, a palm. Like <laughs> this is this is how much the technology advanced. Like from here to here. This is old. This is this will soon be ancient. Like I understand that there are older PCs than this, like the first Mac or the first IBM PC. But this this is old and heavy. I have a PC with an RTX 2018 in it. And I swear to God, this is heavier than my PC. This is heavy. I'm not going to weigh this, but it's heavy. It's as heavy as the monitor. What I'm trying to do now is to plug it in and I'm not going to use this. Like, do you think I'm really, going to use this thing. I'm a tech guy. I'm a gamer. I have something better than this. And it's 10 times better than this. I use the mouse because um, it has a PS2 and if we go old, let's go old. And I'm going to use this. This is I don't think this will be an entertaining video at any extent since this is more like of a documentary of what I'm trying to do and I don't know maybe I'll make I'll change my mind after then I mean I still have time to edit it but just expect to be 20 or 30 minutes long I don't know why I'm just doing this to my life but anyhow I mean to be honest most things we use today we take them for granted and all those things we didn't have, like an on-off switch on the power supply, we didn't have that. <laughs> and it's just, it's just crazy to think about. This is 20 years ago, people just started using PCs. It's crazy. I'm not an average human being, no. I myself am a gamer. And what gamers use? Well, gamers use this. I don't know how to show it otherwise, trust me. This is not your average keyboard and I'm not your average man who uses daily and regular keyboards. No, 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 no. We use this thing. This keyboard is 
actually older than the PC itself. As I said, Windows XP was released in 2001. Maybe the PC build is a bit older. However, this keyboard, this gaming ergonomic keyboard, my friends, this is from the year 1996. That's mind blowing. It's 25 years ago. <laughs> this keyboard is older <laughs> than some of my relatives too. This is insane, like for real this is insane. And remember those things came with an instruction manual. This is the BDC 8120 and it came with an instruction manual about how to use this ergonomic keyboard and how to sit on a chair. And about the connector, as I said, this is actually older than the than the PC and it doesn't connect really well with this build. It doesn't connect well at all. This is a PC AT cable. It looks like this. And I need an adapter which I have right over here, which I'll connect. See, this is the adapter to PS2. And we need to connect these two. And this is how are we going to use this keyboard? This thing. I mean this is this is the earliest version of dongle of apple dongle <laughs> this is like a newer version of jack to usb-c i guess but this is what we will use let's go um the only thing that's left is to and to do this it feels like I'm starting a plane, not gonna lie. It feels like I'm going to fly a plane in the next few minutes, but anyway. Yeah, well, it boots up. I mean, that's the booting. And it's already started. I thought I could tell you some things, but no, it already started. I just have to log in. Also, it has built-in speakers, so <laughs> we'll use this. Okay, now that it's on, I know it does this weird thing. It's because of my shutter speed, my camera shutter speed ain't the same as the monitor refresh rate. This, I think, is 50 hertz or maybe less, I'm not so sure. And my shutter speed, I think it's way higher than this. What I'm trying to do now is to plug in a Wi-Fi connection or try to do it and um, catch you guys when I have some antique screen recording technology on that PC. Okay, so after a little bit of research, I found out that Windows XP is so old that it won't recognize wireless adapters. Yeah, it's this is a TP-Link TL-WN7200 um, ND, and it's a USB thing, it's a, it's a plug and play. However, it doesn't work, so I need to grab my laptop and search for some drivers, put them to a USB stick and move them here, and hopefully it will work. So things don't work exactly according to plan. At the moment, I don't have a USB drive, and I thought I had one, however I don't. I found the drivers for the internet adapter, but my f I moved them to my phone and I can't make this stupid PC recognize and install my smartphone. This is another thing we take for granted. The fact that you just take those both USBs, you plug one into your PC, plug one into the smartphone and it works like magic. However, this is not the case here since I can't really make it work. And this is only the first problem I have. The fact that I can't connect this PC to a network. And then the second problem I have is that I need to find the earliest version of Photoshop, which is hard in its own right just to find it and then to make it work. I'll try my best. I will really, really try my best. But for now, I just need to make it move and make it work. So I'll be back in a moment by the power of editing. So I think this one is 
one of the best updates on this project I have ever had. So for the moment, I managed to get a USB drive. I am I'm copying the the wireless adapter, the wireless driver, and uh, as of right now. I'm searching for all the Adobe products until it copies because it's a USB 2.0 thumb drive and um, it's pretty slow. However, I'm trying at the moment to find all the old Adobe Creative Suite which can work on this device and at the moment I am searching for CS2. I know CS2 was free, like Adobe Creative Suite 2 was free and then Adobe deleted it and now I'm searching for those so I managed to install it and now it works hopefully I mean I was able to connect to a network and I downloaded and actually now I'm installing the Photoshop CS2 hopefully it will work I'm, I'm hopeful that's all I can say I'm hopeful about this and um, now what I need to do is to search for like an ancient OBS like Fraps or Bandicam or something that can record the screen of a Windows XP machine. So wish me luck on this one. Okay, but like this thing is the best thing that happened to me this entire day. I've spent my last three hours making this thing work and now it's finally working. I'll just hit next and standard uh, maybe then go custom okay quick launch bar no on my desktop just go default browser install so the thing is this pc is very old so the internet connection is unstable and the programs don't work especially the infamous internet explorer like this is ie8 i guess let me let me check. No, it's actually six. This is IE6. This is oh my god, this and also you may realize it's a blank screen and I'm gonna do an I'm gonna shut up and make an ASMR of the keyboard, so let's type Yeah, as you can see Google works like it genuinely works however when you try to go on a website it won't load the only thing that loads is the bottom part which I will do again okay so the only thing you see is the card the Wikipedia card and whatever is here so if you don't have your info here you are basically screwed up since you can't really do anything on it but now I was able to launch Firefox and let's see if it works. Yeah, I'm trying to install this. I don't really want to install it unless I have a Bandicam or an OBS or something um, installed so I can record the screen properly, not like this. But for the moment, I'm waiting for yeah this to load up. Okay, so it works. So I just opened up Photoshop. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm realizing at this point in time, I'm, uh, I'm also trying to convert my photos because uh, who would have thought that Adobe Photoshop CS2 does not have RAW support or camera RAW or know how to read NEF files or something like that. Hmm, who would have, who would have thought? I mean, like, yes, a program from years ago should have had that, right? Yeah, wrong. Um, uh, and besides that, I'm realizing that... Um, I think will be I'm not saying it will be impossible but it will be very very hard to edit the photos since I do not and I repeat I do not have adjustment layers so I do not have curves I do not have brightness and contrast I do not have color balance I do not have anything anything at all I mean maybe I'm wrong I just opened up this program I used it once or twice and never for editing photos. And it just shocks me to see that this program does not have any of that. It's, it's actually mind-blowing. 
and right now on my laptop I'm converting all my files I'm gonna just hit save image as it is I'm not going to do anything except for just converting them to JPEG so I can use them and other than that I can't do anything else so I just need to convert all into the maximum high res quality ever so I will still use, lose a lot of quality that's that's straight to the point but I'm just curious how am I going to edit if I do not have any of that I need to I need to see how I'm going to do this this is hard I didn't actually thought it would be this hard but however never mind never mind I just found the adjustment layers I found them it's alrighty they are not I mean I think they are destructive but I found them so maybe this won't even cut it to the chase but I found them <laughs> actually fine like I, I, I'm, I'm happy that I found them and well under layer and new adjustment layer so yeah in Photoshop on the other version you have the adjustment panel into another place and I didn't saw that I guess now we know the more you know said I'm trying to record as much footage as possible however the the PC I don't think it's able to handle it that well so I'm trying my best to get everything on the recording I don't have an external recording adapter an external recording device and this is the best I can do I'm, I'm still I'm still thinking about the quality of this video and I'm um, who will watch this I don't know will someone watch it I don't know why am I doing this with my life well I'm still I don't know but 